Hey guys, thanks for checking out A Drink With Crazy. Please make sure to like, share, and comment down below. We just got finished playing through a few hours of Ghost of Tsushima, which is the biggest release on PlayStation currently out right now, and uh, we're going to give our first impressions. Keep in mind, this is not a full review. This is just, we played through, through a few hours, and we want to give you our thoughts. So... Make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you ring that notification bell, and make sure to share this with everyone you know to help us beat that massive YouTube algorithm. All right, so, you know, honestly, I'm kind of impressed with this one. I'm highly impressed with this. I was very skeptical uh, about, I did not actually know about um, the uh, Ghost of uh, Tsushima uh, before, about a month ago. Yeah, yeah, well, Sucker Punch, they did... Uh Infamous, which was a big Sony exclusive back in the PS3 right. days. And a close to launch title for the PS4? I will say this. Um, first impressions, I, I'm going to get this out of the way. I think, m m here's my first impression is, I, I, I think the game is going for a simple story told with great dynamic characters see, and i hope that's where it goes i think that's where we're going with what see, we've see, seen so far yeah. no i i'd absolutely second that so far i mean the characterization the uh the dialogue is absolutely there the voice acting is top notch um and as far as what i can tell from just the plot base it's um kind of a, a traditional you know the the evil army has invaded my home and i need to rally the defenders to expel I, them um, but it's being told in a very One second. well yeah, done way. We yeah, no, you're good. Um, and I, I'm very much enjoying what they've presented so far. And I, um, the last two hours we did was actually a side quest. And I'm really much... It, I, but I, it I, didn't I, feel like a side quest. No, it didn't. It is quality content that very much could have been main content in a lesser game. I Which, think so. No, yeah. I absolutely think so. And uh, the one of the things that just, just really, really surprises me about... Uh, Ghost of Tsushima is uh, man, it, it it its ability to just make you forget that you're playing a game. Yeah, it's got a great immersion factor. It, like you just buy into the world; it's you, all presented beautifully. And so, with that, let's talk about the graphics. I I okay. So 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 hands down. Here's the thing, guys. These graphics are not the 100% graphics, best graphics you're ever going to see uh, up to 2020 right now. That is not a downplay on this at all. It's just that's them's just the facts. There are games that have come out that have had better graphic uh, graphical fidelity. We are. I will say this. I have to throw this caveat out there. We're playing on a PS4 original. Yes, we, we are, are not, not doing playing 4K. on a pro. We're yeah. not doing 4K, so we cannot comment on uh, possibly. If what, there's a big night and day difference. If there's between, a night and day yeah. difference between the Pro and the original. We are playing on the PS, and it's actually still on right now, so if you can hear that turbine in the background. Just put it into sleep, <laughs> man. Like, come I, on. I, you're I could, sitting right then, by the button. I could, but. He wants to play more. And I, so, yeah. I, I want to play more. I'm, I'm hooked, dude. I want to play more. I'm like, like the first impressions. Like, the, the, like, but that's the thing is like, but here's the thing. Although the graphics are are there, there have been games out there that have definitely had higher fidelity. But we're talking like the cream of the crop level. We're like but, talking Red Dead Redemption Two dude, on PC. But that we're did not like stop us from The Last of Us Two. We're talking like um, Resident Evil Two remake. Like we're talking like the, the RDR upper, Two. Like the. Uh, but here's the thing. Said that but that yeah, did not the, stop. Screenshot that. Screenshot that. That looks good. We will be posting like the a, screenshots it of looks this like game. A painting. It looks it, like. And that's what's so good about it, too, yeah. is there are just moments when you're just like, nope, back up, stop, nope, we need to screenshot Sh that. Shift, shift your angle, we, and perfect. And um, then the way the lighting and the color, and that's one thing I love about this game, it is full of color. Oh, and I love it, too. Yeah. And when it's at night, you know it's at night, and when it's at day, you know it's at day, and there and the, the, the way that the colors blend, the lighting is beautiful, the, sh the, the just the, the, the textures of the lighting are so beautiful. We're taking screenshots, and they will be posted to our uh, to our Facebook and to our Twitter. So go yes. to the links down below if you yes. guys want to see just some of the screenshots that we grabbed out of our first few hours of play because there were just so many good shots that we're just like, nope, got got to do it, got to do it. And they are just – it's just so beautiful and textured so well. And, and uh, again, the graphics, have we seen better? Yes. But only have, by a select few. But only by a select few, and the graphics they chose fit – the game so well and uh, the term i they kept using the was they watercolor so well we kept using watercolor yeah. i think we're off on that because we are not painters or 
or or, Art, or high rock. artists of no. any kind. No. no. Um, we're we're, we're ex rock musicians, so <laughs> <laughs> we know sound very well. Which but actually, sound is um, uh, <laughs> no, and uh, everything about the sound from the score to the uh, the sound effects of the game, everything sounds very nicely done. Um, I like the positioning, um, the sound effects on all the different uh, just combat encounters. The bow and arrow sounds distinct. It's got a good thwack to it. Yeah. Um, the swords sound amazing, and there's uh, a mechanic where you can uh, challenge somebody to a one-on-one duel uh, to start off, and you have to oh. counter them. And, and oh, and the that. way that the sound just drops. And, and it drops, yeah. and then oh. you just got that shing. Oh, it's so good. It's so The draw kill and, and, and going from in, samurai movies. It's great. And, and going into the other part of the sound design, which there is, there is sound design, and then there is voice acting, and those are two totally different things. Now, mixing can potentially be a third thing in sound yeah, and it how can. it incorporates. It but let's skip mixing because that's just... Well, you, I, I, I could sit and talk for the rest of our time on you, just mix alone. On just so, mix alone. But yeah. let's... So the sound and the sounds that they sound chose... Is good. Sound is good. And, and like the wind. The wind is very important in this game. That's a mild spoiler, but the wind is very important. Not just for the sound, but also for... Uh, uh, I hardly uh, count that as a spoiler. The but. direction of the game. The wind is hugely important, and it's, and it's wonderful. But let's get into like the voice acting. The voice acting is so good, even in the incidental dialogue. You My, never it's, feel it's like... It's very believable. It's you, very well done. I think the voice actors gave it their... They're all they gave it their best inflections, mm-hmm. and and here's the thing is that when you when you start up the game because I actually started up and got everything prepared and made sure that it was ready to go um, uh, before we started playing, and one of the things it asks you is do you want to play with English with no subtitles, English with English subtitles, Japanese with English subtitles, or Japanese with Japanese subtitles, or or maybe no subtitles I can't remember. Um, one and, of those. and and one of the I things that the this, Japanese version is that last no, one. No, absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. and and one of the things that we have absolutely discussed is on first playthrough, uh, English with English subtitles for us American folk is great. I want to play it with the Japanese spoken and the English subtitles and you can because just hear the I way feel the voice actors work and the, their inflections and the way also certain Japanese words will show up. You just sit there and you go. You know, I want to hear this with the uh, the, the yeah. native language because because voiceover. it deserves yeah. it. It deserves this yeah. game deserves a second playthrough, and we haven't even finished it. We're not even close to it. it not a second even playthrough. Close. We're still only in act to one. listen to how good the voice acting is, and I and I think that I I, I oh man I just I I got to a place where you can see it on Twitch. We'll we'll put the vod up. Uh, yes, but I got to a place with this game when I just I forgot about the mechanics and the visuals and the sound and the voice acting and what was the fifth thing we all the narrative yeah um and i just kind of forgot all about that and i just i just started enjoying it and i just which i mean and, isn't that what we're all looking for out of the game and so it just made me smile no it, and, it, and just everything that we've just uh, talked about with graphics and sound and uh you know, just uh, we've talked a little bit about the narrative. We'll get into that, but just everything kind of blends very well with this game. That it just sucks you in, and you just want to keep playing. And I have oh, not it's still up fa- right now. I could pick up the camera, turn it around right now, and you're going to see it. And I, I like, I need to get back to this game. I need to. I, and I, so you know, it, it's just so um, fun. So let's get into the mechanics then. Um, the mechanics. I will say this: the mechanics are highly competent. Um, I think in an open world game, there's not much more that can be rediscovered unless we come up with a new controller design. I see, uh, and I and I my, will say this, and I will say this: the mechanics. I might disagree with that slightly. Uh, uh, but, no, 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 yeah. totally, totally. But yeah. here's where I'm at: is the mechanics here? They feel familiar yet exciting to play and exciting to watch. And, and that's I really like comes down, that. That I, comes down to their execution, right? Yes, yes. Is that, and, you know, the open world mechanics, you know, you've got your side quests, you've got your vendors, you've got your, mm-hmm. you know, enemy patrols. I mean, nothing we haven't seen before, but it is executed with a very high degree of skill. Oh, it is very oh, fun to oh play. God. Oh, God. No, no, it is hugely fun to play. And you, you always want to get that timing off, right? Like, oh, this guy's here, and I want to, you know, you always yeah, want to yeah. get that. You always no, w- combat is very oh, satisfying. And I, so- I, actually, I really dig the combat and the way the bow works and, you know, 
it shifts the into bow that kind is of third person for me. shooter sort yeah. of mechanic and you have to well, hold and it. the way that the camera pans when you do the bow and your character kind of hits that lower left corner and it's and it's and it's all That's still what I meant there. by third oh, person shooter but no, yeah no but 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 no, no but in some third person shooters they leave the character in the center and they kind of go with an over the top in oh, this yeah, one they take yeah. your character who is center right or and then they center, just drop them and then they drop your yeah. character over to kind of like over here where Matt is yeah but your but your cursor's here for the bow I like oh, that though, just well the done. way that they pan and, and as it's I so demonstrated fluid, and it's so fluid as I demonstrated in my uh, gameplay it is so easy to go from trying to nail those headshots on the enemy archers and then all of a sudden some dude charges you and you just whishing with the sword Oh. Very satisfying. I love the combat. I, li I, I like the design of well, the open world, what I've seen so far. And, and the ability to change between ammo types for the bow or, or sword very or, 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 or styles yes. but in the sword. Very fluid. Uh, very uh, very well done. And, and, it's, and, it, and it makes you use the controller. There are so many games that forget... Extra buttons. That forget extra buttons. And, and this one button does this one thing. And now they make this button access a whole other thing a, a whole nother set of styles or a whole nother set of and it's and it's and i like that and, Last it's, game and it's, i think i seen that did that was uh dragon age 2 oh that's been a hot minute yeah but you know what one of the games and i i hated and that the, was on console. I, I, you know, here's the thing ready i, PC I, had a hot I, I hated the game i hated it i hated it i hated it but i loved the controls and that was that DMC, that Devil May Cry reboot. See, great which game. Was not, sh should, not have, should not have been Devil May Cry. No, it should have been its own If they named IP. it something yeah. the F else, where you're following not this reboot of this character because they're trying to trash on our... No, but here's the thing. And I bring that game up because I hated the game... But I loved the controls. It made you use the whole controller. And this also And a does lot that. of games. And it made you use the controller in a unique way. And this game does that. This game Everything makes you has a use purpose. the controller in a unique way. There's always, oh yeah, I can hit this button and hit this button. And now I change styles or change forms or change ammo or, or change parry. this or parry or this. Or, or dodge or, or now, dodge roll. Ex exactly. And it Heavy attack, light attack, combos. There's a lot of depth to this combat. And and I think that people who really practice at it, they could pull off some really impressive and, and, moves. And you and I are are, are still learning because we were trading off, and we so were. so each uh, each of us probably have maybe three hours of total play. Oh god, no, no, we didn't even play that long. I would say you and I probably have two and a half, two two, two and a half, maybe maybe two. Yeah, because there's hours of total play. Yeah. but but no, but the controls are are fun and they're engaging because it makes you. It's so believable in the world that they're yeah. setting up, and it makes you just it just you just want to do it. Um, the one thing that I will say, and I started off simple story, dynamic characters. Yeah, so far, narrative. Yeah, I want to learn about the characters because of their dialogue and how they interact with each other. Oh, indeed, it's so fluid um, we, we, and we spent so the last two hours following so on a seamless a side quest with one of the early uh, recruits that you have to get. And he's got this whole other side quest thing, and we just sat there and just kind of followed along with that because it was engaging. It and felt it like felt mainline content. It did. And, and, and when was the last time, or how often? Let me not, not know when it was the last gonna time. I was going to say, I know exactly the last time, but yeah. But how often do open world games make side quests feel like part of the main story, unless because we totally could have gone it's around Rockstar it. Unless Rockstar or CG Project Red, I don't. We, they don't. No. And here's the thing: is I we went for a main mission, and that main mission turned into side quests, and we fell into this two-hour story of character, which still isn't done. And actually, it's not done because we know we're going to continue on with it. We and we, we reached the end of the current chain, but there's more story there, and I'm excited to see the rest of it. And and it feels and here's the thing is none of it feels unnatural. Yeah. It all feels so natural to put that. And and here's the thing. Then then there are the the true side quests that don't branch off the main quest, but you're just you're riding from point A to point B and, and in the you middle talk of to and all of a sudden you talk to somebody and then you learn about something. And World in this building. in this dialogue that feels mm -hmm. so natural. Hey, what's going on here? Well, and it's semi spoilers. I, again, I want to be very because I don't care about spoilers. I never have, so I don't know what constitutes a spoiler, because <laughs> I always just go right for the holy crap reviews. But this person, well, uh, this village was burned down, and it was by these people, and it's in this location. And here's what happened, and I was there, and I saw it. And uh, okay, I'll go look at that. And you go, 
I just learned about the world. Yes. And it was Facts. and it was just in this natural By the conversation. Way, Mr. No spoilers, that was not a spoiler. I again, you know oh, I'm I know. very I'm being very cautious. Oh, with I this, know. And, and you, absolutely. But you no, know, and me. I I love the way the side quests they build up the world or they tie into the main quest or they No, so far that we've seen in our about I want to say five ish hours of play, six maybe. Yes. Um has been very well tight knit, and uh, if anything falls, oh, apart that's a this, good, yeah, tight knit, yeah. Sorry, if, if anything falls apart in the uh, second, third, fourth, fifth acts, um, he will absolutely let us know. I, I'm, I'm running it. I'm running. It. I'm, 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 I'm invested. I'm in. I don't care. I'm going for it. And, um, uh, and I told, I told Matt that if, if something, if it just takes this turn where, like, Matt, you need, to, you just need to. Yeah. Uh, then we'll do it if we need to do a full blown like spoiler heavy review. But I, but uh, from what we've played so far, this is absolutely an easy recommendation. It, oh, it's absolutely, a, oh, it's, and and it's worth to, the money too. Just I, to kind of rehash into kind of um, what we've been through is that the graphics, it may not be quite up to the Last of Us two quality, but they are gorgeous. They look like paintings. It is a very oh, oh, strong. Oh, screenshots again! Screenshots on our Facebook. A, Go it, down below. We'll post. I'm I'm taking all the screenshots. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And we're doing it. But it, very strong art style. Very strong sound design. Good mechanics. Fluid combat. Uh, the narrative so far, while simple, seems well presented with uh, endearing you characters. Know, you know what? That's the thing that I love. Or at least interesting. That's characters. the thing that I love. It's a simple story, and it, and because it's a simple well, story, and, also and it's, it's being it's told not, well. It's also not trying to communicate some sort of moral either like it's the best just, stories always kind of have a moral in there because they're the beliefs of the well, writer you know, what do you what do you think of? but they you don't think set of out to, to do the, it you think of journey to the west you think of the story oh, of Icarus. you're going way you, back all right well, no, but you think of journey to the west you think of the stories of icarus you think of beowulf you think of you think of these simple stories that turn into grand journeys and i and and it see i was feels, gonna go with harry potter but all right no 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 but, but no uh, oh no i'm going <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. But you think of simple but, stories that started with simple characters absolutely. that turn into grand journeys and grand characters. And I feel, on my first impression, this game is taking us in that direction. Yes. Can I confirm it's going to go there by the end of the game? No, no I cannot. Uh, it's but a first as of right but, now, my first impressions of this are that this is a simple story that is told going very to, well with very interesting. That is going to take us characters. into a grand yes. journey. Yes, I think that that's where it's going to go. And it feels like a hero's journey. It does. He's starting low and he's going to rise up. That's what and, it feels like right now. Well, and one of the things that I love is that it's not just because you mentioned something earlier. And this might actually be spoilers, but it's not this idea of alert, oh, there's alert. an invading, there's an invading, you know, there's an invading force, and now we need to get with the resistance. No, it's. You actually have to go build that resistance. Yeah, and that's yeah. an interesting narrative it's choice a, it's, to it's do. It's a very common uh, story um, setup, but with this little wrinkle in it is that you're not joining it; you're building it. Yeah, and so you I, have to I, run around and find the forces to to talk to and and to coalesce no, together and, and earn their trust. That. And so, just to uh, one thing we haven't touched on is um, progression, which is. Uh, with uh, the skill upgrades, the weapon upgrades, whatnot. We have not had a chance to play with too many weapon upgrades yet, but skill upgrades, they seem to come fairly frequently. And they do change but, up the combat style but and your encounters. very well. But paced, and paced very paced well, yes. very well. And obviously, the more you go out and you engage in combat, the more side quests you do, the faster you get it. If you just kind of plunk along with the main story, you're going to get them at a whatever pace that gives it to you. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and you know what? The map isn't excessively large. No, it's not. I it look at I look at the entire map of the entire game, at least that I'm aware of, and it's big. It's definitely like content for your money, but it, it doesn't sit there and make me go, "Oh crap! I have to ride 45 minutes to go sell my sword." No, no, and it, it's very much like, "Oh, I have to go to this place." Well, that'll take me five minutes to get there if, with with if, things in if. between with things in between that will add to the world building uh, i don't NPC. think we had a horseback ride that was longer than two and a half three minutes and that was with those in between things to help mm -hmm. and, and and it felt engaging and there's and there's not too many enemies there's not an enemy around every no corner, it's not it's, it's, it's not like far cry where you just bumble into enemy checkpoints no everywhere i, I just like, I liberate a zone and there's still patrols everywhere. It's just like, <laughs> I, I get it. I'm supposed to shoot stuff, but too much. And this game doesn't have that, which is a, very much a plus for me. No, it's a huge plus. And I just, 
Okay, I have to talk about the wind and the navigation system. Oh yeah, I'm we sorry. need to talk about the I'm navigation. Sorry. This is so everything else in this game for me as of right now. Um, I don't want to score. I don't want to score it. But if we have to score it, guys, this is a solid eighty-five percent in every category, with the exception of one, and that is the navigation system. And I that is it. a ten out of ten for me. The navigation system I of like the how you wind scales there. Nice. Huh? 85 out of 100 to 10 out of 10. I know it means the same thing, but it's just funny. Anyway. No, no but, yeah. but, but everything, but the navigation system is natural to the environment. It's very diegetic. It doesn't, it doesn't interfere with no. anything. It's, and nothing pulls you out. There shut is, up, you. No one cares. There is a... Uh, <laughs> told you the timer. Uh, but, uh, but no. Shut the, up, timer. <laughs> Sorry, I just the, every, the everything up. about the uh, the navigation is very diegetic. It, it, it's subtle. The environment it, will lead you from it, places to places. When was the last time you had a navigation system that did not take you out of the game, or did not take you out of the environment? Uh, Dead Space. Uh, yeah, because I'm actually working yeah. through that right now. No, it is. It In is, terms of the level of diegetic, oh, and even so Dead Space nice. is like, I push a button, and while it's diegetic, it fits in the world. It shows a holographic mm -hmm. you know, path for Isaac to go to. This is a lot more subtle. This is, is so much more subtle, and it feels natural to the world in guiding you where you're supposed to go. It's not this big yellow arrow that's like, look over here. You've got a compass. Let's point. No, it's just this wind. And it and it just and you watch how the trees flow and you just follow the trees and the way the grass and if you moves and sit the there, leaves. If you want to sit there and explore, the wind will always, always be there to guide you. you but and if you sit there and you go, no, I want to know where my next objective is. You can right turn now, it, you, and you, a big you, you can, gust will come through. And, and, and but it still looks like it fits and oh, it's, it's so, great. The navigation, the navigation, is ten out of ten beautiful in this game. And I'm it sorry, fits it's so well. And it is, I just. Again, the navigation alone is something that I wish so many more games would do. Yeah, just, something just that find subtle. ways. Yeah, make yeah. your make your navigation part of your environment because they made the navigation part of the environment, which is an excellent and it's, design and choice. And it's such excellent, a, and it's so great. And I, I'm sorry, my first impressions of this are I I again I'm still going, and I I'm still going, and I I just. I, it, it's here. It's here. I'll grab the camera. I'll turn it around at the we, end of the episode. We don't episode. need to do that. We believe you. Yeah, but especially since I see it too, I'll vouch for him. Yeah, it is. It. You know what, guys? Absolutely recommend. Ten this out of game. ten. This game just makes me smile. It just makes me smile. It's. It's refreshing. That is it's not, not an actual score. That is just no. Ten out of ten. It makes me smile. I don't care. Ten out of ten. It makes me smile. You know what? And you know what that means? It's refreshing. It's not over the top. It's not asking too much. All it's asking is, hey, will you come on this journey it, with me? It reminds me, me and why I, yes. I enjoyed video games. Because I, I can sit down. I can enjoy it. It's not trying to preach. It's not trying to do too much. It's not trying to you know, revolutionize the industry. It's just saying, hey, I do this really well. Come enjoy it. Hey, guys, go on this journey with us. And, and yeah. who's the developer again? Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch. And yeah. Sucker Punch literally reached out and they said, hey, will you come on this journey with us? And, and you know I what? Yes, Sucker Punch. To. And you know what? Yes, Sucker Punch. I'm, I'm going to go on this so journey with you, and I'm going to be there to the end because you, because Sucker Punch, you deserve it. So yeah. just to kind of you know finalize here, graphics may not be earth shattering, but they're very competent, and there's a lot of just gorgeous scenes. And oh, when I say they're so not, good. when I say they're, they're not earth breaking or earth shattering, I mean that they're not they're not trying to go for that Red Dead Redemption two of ultra -re realism or the Last of Us two. Which thank God, by the way, because the horse balls shrinking in the winter time. I was going with who the needs? dynamic horse piles, but um, yeah, who needs that though? When a horse craps and it's a different pile every time, is that really ne necessary? Um, no, yet yeah, no. That's I'm sorry. And mm. so no, mm. this is a uh, the graphics are absolutely above average. Absolutely. Sound design, I'd again say above average. Um, the, 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 king the voice of, acting is definitely the, the king, way above average. The king of sound design for me right now is the Resident Evil 2 remake because of the way it does the positional sound. Where even without uh, surround sound headphones, you can hear things above you, below you, and it'll be different behind you to the left, mm -hmm. to the right. Uh, and various different positions. Like, it is truly a landmark. And this is very much competent. It's above average. Um, just to give you a comparison. Um, in terms of mechanics... Open world sword based combat with good bow mechanics, absolutely engaging. They're fun. And the They're kunai, the kunai combat, the kunai just, the just wow, done. And you're like, oh. and it's and it's fun 
to watch. You're nothing. Do- nothing we so haven't fun. seen before from Assassin's Creed or Witcher or any of these other big open world games. But they are done with a level of competency that is absolutely enjoyable, and, the, and I and do recommend them. And fluidity. Oh, the the animations are great. The animations the, are The mocap great. work on this game, you yes. can tell from watching. See, this is one of those games that I want to see the behind the scenes of the mocap artists. That episode will come later. I That episode will come later. We're going to talk about that. But, yeah. guys, I very much first recommend impressions, this game. First impressions in our first five hours are... We would recommend. Just Absolutely. recommend. Just solid Absolutely. recommend. It's good. It's fun. If you want to see a full, comprehensive review, let us know down below in the comments. And we will probably have that out next week after this guy has uh, time I, to finish it. Because I gotta, <laughs> I gotta finish it. Well, if we want the comprehensive one, you're gonna have to help out. You're gonna have to play your own, <sighs> which is gonna be might be two weeks out. But if you guys we'll see just, how it goes, we'll see how it goes. But but uh, if you guys, well, I guess a full comprehensive review, Anything I'll play through it, and then Matt can ask me questions about it. I'll answer kind of like how we do the Harry Potter videos. Yeah. You know, Matt's the master of Harry Potter. Maybe I'll be the master of Ghost of uh, Ghost of Tsushima. And yeah. But guys, just Absolutely. would recommend. Just would recommend. Just From what solid. we've seen so far, this will be it's, worth your time. It, it just it's so fun and which is refreshing because I am really tired of getting. You know, just upset and pissed at everything. So to have a game come out that I'm just like, this is damn good. I'm happy about that. I'm very happy about and that. <laughs> and there's no, and it, there's not, a, there's no multiplayer. It's just you, you, this individual who paid for our game. Let's go on a journey. And you know what? Thank you. Yes. Because I it's getting there far are far too rare in between live services and you know multiplayer focused and battle royale and all this other. Just, just, just stuff in the industry. It is refreshing to just have a game that is competent, that is told well, that isn't full of map markers like an Ubisoft game that just says, hey, come explore my world. I'm going to tell you a simple but you know good story with good characters, and we'll have some fun with some swords on the way. I dig I, it. I dig it. I, I, yeah. Just After his playthrough, I get next dibs. So. <laughs> oh, dude, it's going to be great. It's it's. it's all right, we're going to keep going if we don't stop. But, guys, yes. just would recommend. Would recommend. It's worth Absolutely. it. Absolutely. It's worth it. It's Check refreshing. it out. It's fun. It just just do it. Just do it. Just just do it. Just just we do this. You you do that. I don't you, know what beer go has do to the, do with that, but. Uh, no, no, no. Julie, no, 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 no. do is, the thing. Yeah, Julie, do the thing. <laughs> you are Julie. Go do the thing. Go get Ghost of Tsushima. You're going to love it. Just do that. Just do it. It's so refreshing. It is like a cool drink of beer on a hot day while you're grilling yes that's how good this game is may not sit with you long but it is damn good while you're doing it so oh no oh no i will be playing this game a lot okay (laughs) we'll be playing this game. never mind then because (laughs) because i feel like there's things i'm gonna miss in my first playthrough oh absolutely but anyway we're we're, we're, we're we're rambling so (laughs) go subscribe ring that notification bell so you hear all of what we're gonna do coming up on the channel don't forget to comment down below tell us what you guys think of ghost of tsushima whether it's your uh first playthrough whether it's your first impressions whether it's your full review let us know down below because we want to hear your thoughts and yes. then don't forget, we're going to post our screenshots over on our Facebook page and our parlor page. And some of them are damn and pretty. they're so They are damn pretty. pretty. So don't forget to go so. in the links down below and follow us on our, our social media. And we will see you guys next time right here on Drink With Crazy. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, everybody. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.